This video is about what you need to do with your left hand when you're changing strings. We all know that our bow is really important to be smooth going across strings. It's very useful to use your wrist as a hinge. If you don't know how to do that, you might go look at String Crossings 101. You can still work on your left hand without knowing what's going on in that video, but I will reference it. I'm going to show on screen the exercises that I'm playing, but there's also a PDF that you can download. There are links above and below. Uh, you can go click on that PDF so that you can have it at home to work on these exercises. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get set up to play a C major arpeggio and a C major scale as well by looking at some of the places where we need to cross strings in those patterns. So the first pattern is called holding across an open string. So you're going to have a couple different fingers that you're going to hold while you go back and forth to an open string. I'm going to start with my third finger on E on the C string. I've got my thumb on the outside of the neck so that I can have high fingers because I need to put my fingers just on the C string. I'm going to use my fourth finger also and I need to not touch the G string when I'm doing this. So I've got my elbow up and my thumb really far on the outside. Okay, here's my E. Here I go. is a really thick string. It's got a lot of tension on it and it's really hard to hold it down. If that's tough for you to do, you can translate this exercise up to the A string and the D string if you want to just get a kind of a sense of what the actual holding is like when you're going across the strings. But eventually to play a C major arpeggio, you do need to be able to hang on to the C string here. Uh, okay, the second one, if you look at the end of the line of the second one, you'll notice this weird word early in there. So the second line is about holding your first finger and your fourth finger together. And as we go back and forth, we're going to hold, be holding both of them. So fourth finger on the G string and first finger on the D string. You can play them together to see that you've got both fingers down accurately. Uh, definitely have to be on the fingertip of that fourth finger. I've got my elbow up a little bit in order to get that to happen. I've got my kind of the corner of my first finger is over on the E on the D string. I'm trying not to squeeze with my thumb. I'm trying to feel the weight of my arm going down and back to hold those fingers on the string without squeezing my thumb. It does take some strength. When I am playing this pattern, this is going to be fine. I'm going to go back and forth with those two notes, and then I'm going to need to get my fourth finger on early before I do the change, because I want to have both fingers down when I do the change. So I will play this and narrate it. Okay, here's my fourth. I'm going to hold it the whole time. Here's my third. I'm holding it the whole time. Holding both. Changing strings with my wrist. If I don't do that, if I try to go back and forth between my four and my one, and I don't do a good job holding, it's going to sound something like this. There's a click. Sometimes my G string kind of barks out. It's almost impossible to get that to be 100% clear and smooth between the strings. Okay, so then the next pattern is the hardest one, and this is holding your fourth finger and your second finger. I like to lean back to get my second finger in tune. This is a hard interval to, to be able to hold. You may not be able to do it right now, but if you can, go for it. I do a tilt back for my second finger. I can check my fourth finger with the open G string. That's the interval of a fourth, which is really hard to play in tune. And same kind of idea here. So going back 
and forth between those two notes. Okay, now I'm gonna play that whole arpeggio. And as I said, I'm gonna narrate for you. I'll play it once. How about if I play it once without narration and you can watch what I'm doing and then I'll narrate it. Your bow is changing when it needs to change to the new note and your left hand is lagging or coming in early and it seems really confusing you definitely need to practice it till you get used to the to get your nervous system used to doing it uh, the first place to start is to have a rule of always holding onto a finger until you know that you don't need it anymore like just hold all the time it's easier when you're doing upward things because you've put a finger down and you're going to move to a new string and then you'll sort of see whether you need to be still holding that note or not. It can be harder on the downwards because you have to put in new fingers. Um, okay, and so then there's the C major scale. Pretty much the same kind of idea. Every time you come to a string crossing, you will need to hold on the way up and on the way down you need to come in early. So here we go. sort of slapping your finger on while you're trying to get your bow down. Give it a try. It's a hard thing to do, but it will make your string crossings more smooth. <laughs> 